Hello and welcome to Esri Australia's screen share video tutorial on introducing the basics of using drone to map. Drone to map for ArcGIS is a desktop application that turns single frame images from drones into ortho mosaic, terrain models, point clouds, 3D meshes and more. In this video, we will explore the processes of how to upload your drone data that you have already collected, create author mosaics, digital elevation models, and service models in the 2D an analysis, and how to create point clouds and textured mesh in the 3D analysis. Finally, we will explore how to share these layers into ArcGIS Online for further mapping and analysis abilities. For those of you wanting to access drone to map within your education package, please visit the My Esri webpage and log in using your ArcGIS Online information. From here, we're going to head over to My Organizations. And then we're going to go to the Downloads tab. You're going to visit all other products and in the quick search, write Drone and press Enter. From here, you can see your ArcGIS Drone to Map ready to be downloaded. If you click on view downloads, it will bring up the potential options for you to download. Simply find the one that's right for you, in this case, ArcGIS Drone to Map, and hit download. Your download will start automatically and be logged onto your desktop. Once downloaded, open it up and you will see some project template options down the side. If you are wanting to create a 2D layer of your data, then one of the first two options is the one that you will be needing. If you are requiring a 3D option to use in ArcGIS Scene, then you would need to select the 3D mapping option. For this example, I'll be using 2D Full. And as you can see, the screen displays examples of what the outputs you will get from this option are shows orthomosaic, digital elevation, or a surface terrain model. Once you are happy with your selection, click Next. Give your project title a name. In this case, I'm going to call mine Drone Training. Feel free to save your file wherever is appropriate for you. Next, we're going to select our images that our drone has already collected. In this case, Mine are located in my drone to map folder. I'm going to select all these images by clicking on the first one, scrolling to the very bottom, holding the shift key and clicking the very last one. This can basically highlight all the appropriate folders and then enter them onto my drone to map. Next, I'll press OK. And as you can see, the drone to map application has immediately uploaded those images. Once I'm happy that all my images have been stored, I'm going to hit Create. Your images have now appeared. If you click on one of the dots, you can actually see which images are being displayed. However, to see the background and what you have actually collected, you can add a base map same way that you would do on ArcGIS Online. Whilst collecting your data in the field, you may have used ground controls. Your ground controls are recommended to ensure accuracy in your location. If you have used ground controls in the field and you wish to upload them onto the drone to map, simply click Control and Add from Map and line up your cross to wherever your ground control was in the field. If you do not use ground controls in the field, please disregard this step. Next, we're going to click Manage. And on the right hand side, a panel will come up showing the products that the program is going to create. Ensure all the correct results that you require are checked. If you are needing the 3D products, you would be checking th the products below. But for this example, we are going to stick with 2D. 
Once everything you are required is selected and you have uploaded all the data that you are happy with, we're going to go ahead and click start. The timing for this process depends on the size of your data. For small data packages, you're looking at about 20 minutes. However, for much larger packages, it could be anywhere up to three hours for this point. Once your content has finished processing, you can now share it on ArcGIS Online. To do this, head to the Share tab at the very top of the screen and select Web Map. In the right-hand panel, select the layers you would like to be created and give the content a title. For this, I'm just going to keep mine as Drone Training. If you have a specific folder you would like it to be shared in on your ArcGIS Online account, select that option. Feel free to give it a description and a tag if you prefer and allow the sharing options, whether it is in your organization or everyone. If you don't want anybody to see this data, you can simply leave them all unchecked. From here, you're just going to press share. Once that is finished, head off to your ArcGIS Online account and find your content tab. Find the title that you just created, in this case for me, it's Drone Training, and open it up. In the content section, you can now see all the, all the layers that we just created using Drone to Map. And I can turn off the auth mosaic layer. I can turn off the digital surface model. And I can also turn off the terrain model. I can also turn off my flight path and just have specific ones on, depending on what I want to show. From here, you can use ArcGIS Online like you would normally do and add multiple layers and features to show relationships within your data. So there you have it. Your drone data uploading as an author mosaic, a digital surface layer and a digital terrain layer that you can now add features to. Remember to save any change you make. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.